Hello everyone. In this topic, we will talk about variance and standard deviation. So why we will use it and how to calculate the variance of a given variable. Okay. So let's start. So we'll talk what is variance, right? So, but technically both variance and uh, standard deviation will measure the spread of a given variable, right? So uh, I can also say like this, right? It's a measure of the spread between the numbers in a given variable. Maybe to be more precise, we can also say that a measure or distance between the each value in a given variable to its mean. I can call it as a variance, right? This is mainly used to check how the each values in a data set is related to each other, right? So the variance can be positive or negative, right? So large variance, you know, if, if we have a large variance, we can say the values far from their mean, right? So as I said, right, so both variance and standard deviation will, will give the same. But what is the major difference between variance and standard deviation is? So standard deviation is nothing but the square root of the variance. What it does is it just eliminates the sum of squares. We'll talk about what is sum of squares when we are, you know, calculating the uh, the variance and standard deviation in the Excel sheet. Okay. Now let's see how to calculate it in the Excel sheet. So, <clears throat> yeah. I already have a variable age, which has some age information, right? If you see it here. So as I said, right, it is a measure or distance between the each value in a given variable to its mean. So which means first I need to be calculated the mean. It's nothing but an average, right? <coughs> so I'll select average for uh, this given variables is 21. <clears throat> now I need to find the distance between each point to its mean, which is 10 to 21, 11 to 21, and so on, and square it. Right? So difference between mean and age. I mean that's our variable here. Right? So <clears throat> this minus 21 whole to the power of 2. We are squaring it just to eliminate the negative values, right? This is we call it sum of squares. Now we need to repeat it for uh, the remaining values in a variable. Oops, okay, let me delete this. Give me a second. So this minus 21 whole to the power of 2 right so when i do it yeah this is the sum of squares of uh, difference between the given variable and to its mean right now what i need to do is i need to find the sum of this right sum of this you know sum of squares so the sum of all this is five three four six <clears throat> now okay my bad i could have shown you the formula before yeah if you see this is the formula for the variance right if you see the formula for the variance s square equal to summation of x minus if our given variable minus mean whole to the square of two divided by n minus 1 where n is our total number of values minus 1 we are doing minus 1 because it's for degree of origin for samples we have a sample and populations maybe we'll discuss this more in the further topics so but uh, uh, when you say when you say n minus 1 it's called a degree of freedom right because we are dealing with the sample data now right so now <coughs> we we find this value right which is x minus x bar whole to the square of 2 right now yeah now what, what is the next step here i need to divide by the total number of observations minus one right so which is this divided by i have 10 observations so degree of freedom is 10 minus one which is nine so 594 is my variance now as i said how to find the uh, standard deviation square root of the variance so this is my standard deviation 
right so we have a default formulas in the excel sheet so so i was just talking about the sample and population right so we'll discuss that more in the further topic so let me select the sample and i selected all these values yes so this is our variance and the similar way we have standard deviation sample and i'm selecting all those things and say enter yeah right so this is like uh, how much your value is dispersed from the center your center is nothing but your mean right we'll also quickly see how to calculate it in the you know uh, python so we have very famous package called numpy we are importing it so i must have i just somewhere here yes let me copy this and paste it here and now let me convert this list a tuple as an umpire array so np dot array of ages so <clears throat> yeah now we need to find the variance right np dot variance of my age right so now let me run this so if I run this, I got 534. And what is the result in my here? 594. What is the difference? You remember this is for the sample. Let me try to calculate it for the population, right? In population, only difference is in the sample, we divided by n minus one, where in the population, we divided by n, just n, right? So yeah, 534. If you see the results here, the same you can see it here 534 right which means by default uh, the variance in numpy gives the variance for the population if i want to make it for the sample so we have an uh, option called ddof is equal to one what it does is it will it will when i say ddof equal to one it will subtract the denominator by one if you don't mention anything by default it is zero right so yeah 594 you can see this here right so the same value we have in the Excel. So <clears throat> this is about the variance and standard deviation. So stay tuned.